but of course you are. This is another world. No, this is home world. But I can see the confusion. Okay, it is now time to do this, uh, crazy thing that I have been hinting at this whole time, which... I'm gonna change worlds. That's the crazy thing. It's totally it. That is the only thing that I'm talking about. No, that's not the only thing I'm talking about. Um, but we do have to change worlds to do it. So I'm gonna grab my astral amulet, I'm gonna run over the beach, and we're gonna change worlds. Um, but yeah, so this is definitely not required. It is a side quest. I am making this very clear. I also realized that there was one thing that I wanted to do um, before I do anything. I got my elements all sorted. Got a lot more healing. But what I want to do is put the black plate on Lady Hum. This means that any black elements cast on her, she will heal. I have the revives on Pure and Lynx still. And I'm going to board my boat. This is, shouldn't be bad, um, because of a hint that I learned. Uh, I think it was from Chrono Compendium, maybe? Or, I, my brother and I were Googling this at some point, and we found, um, a good hint about this. But there's this tiny island over here. The only reason that you would even think to click here is because there's smoke. Like, this smoke here is the only reason you would ever think. There is no name. There is no nothing. Like, there is nothing that indicates that you can come here except for that little pillar of smoke. But we come here and we find this green, overgrown house. And then we walk in. And we find a man. Yes. This cannot be. Are you... Dario? But of course you are. This is another world. No, this is home world. But I can see the confusion. You are alive and well in this world. Are you saying you know who I am? What did you say? No, this cannot be. Do you know this man? It has been four years since this man washed ashore, clinging on for dear life. Every day was a battle between life and death, but miraculously he made it. However, this man has no recollection of his past whatsoever. Yes, Dario, do you not? You do not remember me? I may be the hum from another world. Now you got it right. But every day I have always. And yet you do not remember who I am? Hum. That name moves my heart. I have a feeling I have lost someone very dear to me. Forgive me, I just cannot remember. If only there were something to reawaken your memory. Yes, I know. Your mother's memento, which you gave to me, that may help you remember. I believe that was... My father could not stand seeing me in sorrow. So we stored it away safely in a secret treasure vault inside Viper Manor. Arr, a secret treasure vault. Where exactly is it? It is in a room inside the East Tower. You can access it from the second floor. I completely forgot about everything um, involved in this side quest. But hey... More side questing! Yay! Uh, so we'll run right over here. And... That means... I gotta switch worlds again. Uh, because we have to go... She knows where it is. So we have to go to the, uh... Not ransacked Viper Manor. Which you'll now notice that this has a name. Forbidden Island. And it's in blue. So, any names that are in blue 
are ones that like you've discovered. So, did, did, did I not do that? I apparently did not do this. Such as this island. Just learning all sorts of things today. So this is the bend of time. This is the bend of time. A special battlefield where monsters travel across dimensions together. You can battle monsters that you may have missed. So yeah. You can go into any of these portals and battle any monsters you may have missed. I thought I talked about this already, but apparently not. Hi, Feature Cat here to say that yes, I did talk about this back in Chrono Cross uh, Part 28. But since then, I lost my save file and had to replay through it, and this is one of the things I mentioned that I didn't necessarily get to do. So uh, just note how there are more of the little portals now in the video that will be coming back in a second than when I went then. Back to your regularly scheduled content. Uh, and yeah. It's just a good way to do some grinding if you need to, or um, you'll remember, gosh, Allie I think is what we named her. Uh, Sprig, also known as Allie in our playthrough. Um, yeah, now that pops up, it's a bend of time. Um, but yeah, if it's a blue name, it means it's discoverable. So or you discovered it, so it just doesn't show up automatically. But, um, that's a really good place if you need to get some more, so, uh, Allie's ability is doppelgang. So if you need to get more monsters for her to be able to doppelgang into, that's a really good place to go. She just has to be able to be the one to finish them off, and she has a chance of, um, retaining their form remembering their form, being able to turn into them, however you want to say that. Um, so we'll Astra Amulet back to another world. As I was giving Hum so much grief about that, even though she couldn't hear me, I'm giving her all the grief. So let's run on over here. Um, so Viper Manor. I'm just gonna leave my boat parked and I'm just gonna run, uh, cause it'll take longer to get in the boat, get out, and then get back in than it will to actually just like run up here to Viper Manor. So she said second floor. Let me in. Seems to have been trouble inside. Let, th let me in. Ugh. I thought I could do this now. Am I wrong? Have I been mistaken? Uh, let me just try something really quick. Let's see this. Let's see if this gets me in. Otherwise, it's like, well, there's that down the drain. I guess I'm going to fight a, a dragon. Uh, can, can we go now? Commander, when did you get out? Oh, good. I was hoping. Perfection. All right. So. As long as we have him, we should be able to just march right on in. Is the meeting over? No. Meeting is not over. It's fine. Uh, second floor. So this is the first floor. We oh, thank you. Uh, we need to go up here. Second floor. We haven't been in this room before. Well, this uh hallway bridge tower thingy whatchamacallit ah look at this it's a puzzle it's a pretty easy puzzle to be honest just you know nice okay you know honestly I was waiting for enemies to fall from the sky so uh glad that didn't happen they just kind of just 
all surround Lynx after he successfully puts a, a statue in place. So nice of them. Such encouraging friends. And... Now. I'm trying to remember if there's anything in here at all. But Oh, here. I want to read this. It says, respect my behind. So. Respect my behind. Try the front. And. That's what happens. You get dropped into the cage. Again. However. If we do what the sign says and we respect the behind. We get to the actually open the chest. There's a letter inside. There's a good reason why we borrowed the contents. If you want back, come to the Isle of the Damned and bring Sir Nicola. Signed, Salt and Pepper. Things are shaking in here. We gotta go see Salt and Pepper on the Isle of the Damned. And we've got to bring Nicola with us. So, that'll be a party. Um, I'm just going to do a really quick, basically, uh, once I get out of here, I'm going to do a really quick swap. Um, swap out Bob for Nicola. And then we'll head over to the island. Like I said, I want to keep Hum in if possible, because I want her to be stronger um, for this whole thingamabob or what's it. Yes, I know. Think about Robert Watts. It's great stuff. Um, but for the whole side quest, I would like her to be present. So um, having her be stronger is good. So I will see you guys in just a second. All right. So now that I've got Nicola in my party, we have a journey to make. Hop in our boat and head on over to the aisle. We've been here before. Been to the aisle before. Uh, we had to get the Einlanzer from there. So we def that's where we fought Garai. So now, if you'll excuse us, we'll just go right on over to this bone-ridden island and hop onto the shore. And then we have to go through all the fun stuff again with this. Isn't it just the best? Um, so yeah. I think, for the most part, things are opened up now, though, so I don't need all of the, uh, will-o'-wisps to get everywhere so I should be fine to just run because there's actually yeah there's not even a will-o'-wisp here so it should be good and thankfully I've done this enough that I, I know where I need to go so I can just do that and know that this is where I need to do my things this is the one benefit of having played this game a lot is that I I know how to get where I need to go Garai keepsake. There we go. Use. Step through the mirror. Yeah, because like, first time playing this, I wandered around everywhere. So, now that I've played it a few times, I have no problem getting right where I need to go, which is always nice. To not be stuck, lost in a mirror maze. Um. Yeah, so here's salt and pepper. Get ready for it. S Sir Nicola, you actually you, you actually shook it here. Do you knowingly know why we are here? Heck no. What am I supposed to? Don't shake ignorance. We came to investigate what happened here. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Sir Nicola. But we have stood by your side, unable to shake loose this one suspicion we had. Suspicion? We believe you may have killed Sir Dario. And by shaking it here, our suspicion has turned to conviction. So Sir Nicola, we are executing you for executing you for the murder of Sir Dario. Dario. Fly 
flashback time. Aw, look at them. They're just kids. And there's Glenn. I can call him Glenn because we don't have him in our party. And we never did, so we'd never give him a name. Oh, and there's Riddle. Hum, sorry. How is your training going, everyone? Miss Hum. I guess his voice wouldn't be as low. Not that my voice is low to begin with. I brought something special for everyone today. Oh, really? What is it? What is it? Viper churros? Wrong answer, Glenn. Next? Are they really that good? Uh-huh. I can chop down ten of those easily. <laughs> You're always like that. Those churros were originally iron rations for knights. Overeating is not good discipline. So, Miss Hum, what have you brought us? Please don't make us hold our breath too long. This is it. I found it in Fossil Valley. Isn't it pretty? Ah, shoot. It's just a flower. Miss Hum, did you go to the valley by yourself? What? I'm not allowed to? It's just the valley. I'm sure it's safe enough. Da 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 da. I have enough for everyone. I will give some to you boys. Glenn doesn't want any, right? Since you've gone through the trouble of getting it, I'll take one too. If I plant its seeds, I might get some good fruit from it. Yes, that's totally how seeds work, Glenn. Ten out of ten. Oh, how silly of you, Glenn. It's a very pretty flower. Even as super pixelated because of the graphics. Here you go, Glenn. But I don't think it will grow any fruit, though. You don't know until you try. You're not wrong. You know what? You are not wrong. Good on you. Nicola might not like things like flowers, but... N no, it's, it's not that. You brought... You brought me one, too. This is beautiful. What kind of flower could this be? It's a bellflower. Miss Hum, if you ever wish for this flower, I will go for you instead. If anything should happen to you. Then let us go together. Does that sound like a good idea? Yes, very well. I love her dress, by the way. It's gorgeous. I'm jealous. And here we see Nicola just looking at the flower. It fades as he's looking at the uh, flower. And they're now older. Nicola, are you listening? Huh? Oh, sorry. So what is it? What's with the formality? Uh, um, how should I... Actually, I... Why are you acting so strange? Spit it out. Uh, I, to tell you the truth. Nicola, we are pledged to marry. I've already told Daddy about it. Th that is what I wanted to tell you. Will you bless us with your approval, Nicola? Mary. S so that's it. Well, congratulations. So when's it going to be and where? We haven't decided on a date yet. We still need to finish surveying the Isle of the Damned first. It's just that... Just what? I want the wedding here. The place where we have cried together, laughed together, and shared our dreams. Together. You never change, Dario. Hey, then I'll have to fill this dull vacant lot with loads... Lot? Ugh, dull vacant lot with loads of bellflowers. Just tell me if I can help you in any way. Thank you, Nicola. Dun dun dun! Which then leads to this. This must be it. 
Nicola, why are you in such a hurry? The enemy is not going anywhere, and the footing here is bad. Why do you always have to be like that, Dario? Masamune may be in there. Any dragoon would be hyped to see that thing, you know? Sure. Sure. We'll go with that. Shaker Brothers, you stay here. So, uh, we've now learned they're the Shaker Brothers. So it's Pepper Shaker and Salt Shaker. I'm so proud. So, sir. Let's get going, Dario. Fine. Is that the Masamune? Yay, evil swords! Was I really just possessed by that devilish sword? Driven by such intense hatred and envy? Maybe deep inside me I was filled with hatred? Dario, the one whom I could never beat, no matter how much I tried. The one who stole Hum's heart from me. What if that sword does not embed hatred into the mind of its wielder, but instead draws out and ignites the flames of hatred hidden within the hearts of men? And if that hatred was something deep within the wielder to begin with, then what have I... Okay, can I just stop for a second and say, dang, and also props to Nicola for, like, taking responsibility for that, because, yeah, it's the sword's fault, but recognizing that that, that hate could be inside of him, like, that's a big step. Props to him. Like, that's amazing that he's he's willing to to admit that it could be at least partially his fault so yeah I just want to point out this really it's not just like oh it's it's obviously an evil weapon it was not my fault at all anything it was like yeah it's I'm at least a little bit to blame so that's that's really cool to just see him admitting admitting guilt there so you do know something about it. Take it easy. Why the hell do I have to fight you guys? No time for questions. No time for questions. What the heck? Oh, battle time! Battle time indeed. But it's salt and pepper. Let's be honest. What if they ever posed much of a challenge to us? However, you will notice that this time they are not doing their usual bumbling tutorial talk. They are serious this time. And they are focusing. They are not focusing Nicola like you think they would. You would think they're here to execute him. They should execute him. But, instead, we are, uh, getting damaged currently between Lynx and Nicola. Oh, he's strengthening himself. This isn't good. And high resistance. Lovely. They are currently buffing themselves. Which I guess helped, uh, Pepper on that. Um, so we have both yellow in it. So, let's do some feral cats. This seems like a good a good thing to start with. Some feral cats. Um, I'm gonna have Hum cast a green element. Possibly a heal all, actually. Which, unfortunately, does bad things for her, but uh, I need some sort of you know what? I need some sort of green element. I'm gonna arrow blast our pepper. Because salt's already low. 
so being able to get both of them a little low will be helpful. And axe your axe. I thought he had a tech that was all enemies, which is why I wanted at least a neutral field and do that tech. Yep, there went salt. And pepper, I'm sure, is pretty close to death at this point. Or close to sagging, at least. Afraid? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't blame you. Thunderstorm. Yeah, well, unfortunately for you, um, no. The field is not in your favor. But, now would be an excellent time for a heal all. Buff myself up a sec. Let me uh, heal all myself. I have a one green field to work with here, which is lovely. Because Nicola's about to go ham. Did I really need that heal? No. Did I do it anyway? Yep. It is time. This will probably do it, to be quite honest. Yeah. This is not a hard fight by any means. This is salt and pepper. This fight is not meant to be difficult, but that does not mean that, you know, you should just yawn your way through it. It's easy to get through, but, and there we go, Nicola's level seven tech, which is another reason why this is such a great side quest is getting these techs. Listen to me, I did not kill Derek. I know the time will come when I can speak the truth, but I can't just yet. I hope you understand. Sir Nicola, I have come to an understanding after that battle we just had. You are not an evil person. You would never kill your best friend. Please forgive us. Looking back now, you were the one who took us under your wing, even though we were dragoon outcasts. You are very special to us, Sir Nicola. <laughs> we believe you, Sir Nicola. We must be on our way, but we hope to see you again sometime, somewhere. When that time comes, we hope you'll be readily ready to tell us what really happened. A and we're sorry we took this from you. We're shaking it back to you. And we got the memento pendant. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. One day, I promise to tell you guys the truth. Take care. So, a little less of the guilt admission here. Um, but hey, he does admit that, you know him saying that he didn't kill him isn't necessarily the truth. Or at the very least, it's not the whole truth. So yeah, we got the memento pendant. Which means we can now go uh, talk to Dario in Homeworld. And uh, see if we can't learn something. Help him remember something. You know, all that good stuff. Get his memories back. Live happily ever after. It'll be wonderful. You know, that whole, that whole dealio. Duck over here. And up. And out. Okay. That's the one thing, it's just like, it's a whole process just to get out of here, man. I have to run around, like, I wish I could just like jump off an edge. Um, to get down to the exit instead of having to run all the way around and then down the stairs. This entire aisle is just a little bit windy. It's a little crazy. If we're being totally honest here. But we did it. Confronted Salt and Pepper. And... Now that we are on our boat, we are ready to go world hop and bring this pendant to Dario next time. So I will see you all then. Thank you.